All right, so we're going to get started. Um, here's the dollar yen pattern we were looking at yesterday, but uh, we'll get into that in a second. <clears throat> So we had a bunch of news come out today, um, lots of Euro news, and we can see that uh, in the end, the pound dollar broke down, uh, which isn't surprising since um, I've been trading these sequences uh, since early August. So uh, finally, we got the signal that uh, this pattern has broken down, and I'm going to let the dollar uh, pairs relax a little bit. We got uh, news coming out in about uh, 40 minutes. Um, so we're going to take it easy. I'm going to close this pattern, though. It's been good. Uh, next thing we were looking at was Aussie Yen. Uh, we can see we got that move up to 15. And now we're coming back down uh, to 16, where I'm going to look uh, for a move up to 17. So Aussie Yen still holding. Again, we've been looking at this together on the stream since, um, I think, about August 11th. So Euro dollar, we spoke yesterday about how the fact that you know we could break right through, and that's why we have to do uh, the calculations. We have to understand when we need to calculate. It's not about just calculating. You have to know when when to calculate. Gan says you need to get a correct base or starting point. Uh, so I understood, and I, if you can go, you can go back and check it out. I basically said that we could end up breaking two and changing it up. So that was a beautiful drop. I'm gonna close up this pattern as well. Again, let the dollar pairs reset um, and see what's going on after the news today. And this week in general, we have lots of news going on. This was uh, the pattern that I gave out yesterday. So if you remember, uh, we were basically, uh, we were here. So yeah, that's the exact time of the stream. So we were here heading into uh, the New York session open. And basically I, I called for a move up. And if this square of nine level held, which was uh, 146.06 or uh, yeah, 146.06. So Price, uh, I said price would come down to this next level and then down to here. Okay, so price ended up finishing the whole pattern. And so the next sequence would be a, a large move up to seven up here to test these highs at three. So again, uh, dollar, yen, same idea. We have news in 40 minutes, so we're probably going to just want to uh, take it easy on that. Uh, gold, if you remember, we were looking yesterday. Uh, basically, I stated that if price breaks this level, breaks these lows, we're going to head down to this level. Uh, and we bounced right off that level and haven't looked back since. You can go check that out uh, on yesterday's stream. So here's an, uh, some new patterns for today. Uh, looking at Euro Yen uh, for a move up from five uh, into six. Uh, and pound Aussie um, from six up to seven. So if you guys saw um, a long position that I posted uh, today on my Instagram, that's this uh, four to five. Uh, then we had a bunch of news. We had um, a lot of news coming out of Europe. So just to kind of let that be proved, proved that it's continuing the cycle. Uh, and now we have a nice sequence up to seven. So let's take a look at the square nine levels here and see how we could approach uh, pound Aussie. <clears throat> Great. So what I'm looking at now heading into New York is if we can go above here, then I believe we can get to this level. And if we can break through that level, I 
think we can make it up to here. So we're going to have to see. Um, let's see what news it is. So for those who aren't aware, right, uh, right, right at the gun, right at the um, beginning of the day, we had New Zealand retail sales, and we had um, we had Aussie flash manufacturing PMI. So that was in the Asian session. But if you you know if you see news um, in you know in the sessions in the early sessions, you know that they're bound to be a move because. Um, more often than not, the the market makers, you know, will put their positions in before news. So think about it this way: you can't really blame awkward movement around the news. So because if there was just random moves throughout the day, no one would trade, uh, and they would be thinking of it would be an inefficient market. Uh, so we had a bunch of news in the morning, and then we went into a bunch of news in uh, Europe. And now we have, yeah, flash man. So it's flash manufacturing PMI basically across the board all day. We had Aussie, we had Euro, pound, and now dollar. So we might want to wait until about 10 a.m. Eastern before getting an idea of uh, where the market could head. Let's take a look at Euro yen. Let's get some square nine levels. So Euro Yen, you can see that um, we're respecting this level right here, the 157.30 level. If we can get back above that level, <clears throat> I believe we'll come up here. Pound Aussie should tap that level again. We're just shy of it. Should tap that level. Tell us, uh, tell us what's going on. Pound Aussie looks a little a little more ripe. All right, so while we're waiting for that, let's go check out some other markets. Haven't taken a look um, at Bitcoin. It's still dropping, looks like. Same range. Yeah, that's terrible. Like, you, why would you want? You can't even trade that. This chart doesn't make any sense. You can tell it's just. I don't know. At least in at least you know this past summer, Bitcoin's been really, really tough to trade in terms of getting an idea of what the pattern is because <clears throat> these random spikes. Right. Whereas in an efficient market, in a normal market that's traded, like, and why is, you know, why is Forex an efficient market? Because it's backed up by a government, it's backed up by a military. Okay. That paper, that paper or a coin means something because there's a whole country and military behind that. And there's, there's no, there's no way you can get around that. When you have something like the dollar, that's basically the whole world is propped up on it. So it's an efficient market and, it, and, and you have, people that are vibrating within that market that aren't necessarily trading it, right? Let's say you go on vacation or you're doing business or all sorts of things that you're using the currency. But in Bitcoin, 
where you can argue about utility, right? And it's mostly people that are hodling. Um, so that's when you get these like weird spikes. And what these spikes are supposed to do is give you indications of what, what could come next. Now, what I notice is that on the smaller cycles, if I'm looking at the smaller cycles, like the five minute, uh, things will start to make a little more sense. Like if I can, you know, if I can find a day where the 15 minute makes sense or the five minute makes sense, um, you know, then that might uh, pull me in. But in terms of like, if you look at it, you know, on the one hour, the one hour is just really bad. Like these, these wicks, these long uh, pushes and pulls, it's just, uh, it doesn't make sense. So I highly recommend staying out of Bitcoin until it gets liquid, unless, I don't know, you're investing or whatever. But um, again, it's not investment advice, but in terms of just looking at a Bitcoin chart, it's probably wasting your time, right? Like I'm not telling you trade or not to trade, but it's probably wasting your time when you could be looking at markets that are more efficient and will give back more. Trevor, not Trevor, Trevor. I had another student, Trevor. Um, good to have you back, buddy. Okay, so are you going to come to the D Divergence webinar this week and tell us what you found? All right, so these aren't doing anything. Uh, let's look at crude. Where are you here? Okay, interesting. So this is simply uh, the lunar, the lunar scale. For those who don't know, I, I teach this on YouTube. You could go and uh, learn how to apply this angle. Um, just like I did right now, uh, this is based off the lunar scale. So you can see here that uh, price has bounced off it before. And here we are again. So what will happen on this angle will probably tell us, you know, what will happen next in terms of uh, crude heading up or down. Yeah, no worries, Trevor. Does your strategy work with 100% accuracy? Um, if you're looking for anything 100%, and it's not even in the market, just in life, um, even nature is 100%. So... You know, if you if you wonder what I mean, like there's a, you know, in my neighborhood, there's a bunch of stray cats. And there's one cat that has, you know, a deformed paw, but it's a cat. Right. It can still eat. It can still jump. It can still do everything it needs to do as a cat, but it's a deformed, has a deformed paw. Does that make it any less of a cat? No, it's 99% cat, 95% cat, however you want to rate it. That's nature. So um, I'm guessing if you're asking if it's 100%, I'm, I'm guessing uh, probably have something to do with engineering uh, in your work or studying engineering. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so we got 12 minutes till the open. Did we tap this level? Yes, we did. 
So we kiss that level, turn around. Again, we want to get above this zone right here to see pound Aussie head up uh, higher. Euro yen, same idea. They're going to want to wait till the news because, you know, the vibration that enters at the news, we're not guessing here, right? We're not like thinking all day, oh, support resistance or whatever thing you're using in order to, you know, judge the market. Um, are you a divergent student? Cala Cobra demanding. Are you a student, buddy? Yes. Okay, send me an email. If you want a proper answer as a student, send me an email with your question. And I'd gladly answer it. Right now we're uh, we're not talking about divergences. We're not learning divergences. We're just learning about how the pattern repeats. Great, send me an email. Trayanne, welcome, welcome. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I encourage all students, you know, um, I understand there's a, uh, you know, life happens and so, you know, sometimes you put the books down or put the market down for a bit at the beginning. I also did. Sometimes it can get too, you know, it would get too mentally. It's, it's a, it's a muscle, right? You can't run a marathon right away. Uh, so I understand people take breaks and you know maybe forget concepts misunderstand concepts but if you have a question on the course send me an email that's why i have my email i was also live webinar every week i'd like more people to come every i know everybody you know most people are watching it that are is tuned in to the recordings but you know if the more students that come and engage during the live webinars every week it's gonna um everybody's gonna benefit from that Okay, yeah. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, I think you just signed up recently. Here, what we're learning is we're trying to change paradigms of people who believe that the market is random, first and foremost. We're trying to prove here that the market is not random and that the market is connected to nature. And so are we connected to nature? If we can understand that connection, then maybe we can speculate with a high probability the future. You know, the methods that I teach, I was also using on Corona graphs as well. That if, if I was stuck at home and, you know, I'd make, I would do more research because uh, there was a lot of graphs and a lot of data coming out on Corona. And uh, the principles that I teach, you know, they they basically stood those tests as well. It doesn't just happen in the market. I can show you guys cycles in nature as well that play out like price. So if this uh, if this level fails, you know, we could see a spike down, possibly to here. Euro yen as well. We don't know what's coming into the news. All right. So someone says the market's not random. History does not. History does repeat. You need to know the numbers and patterns, right? But if we, if you walked into a a hedge fund that manages $1 billion and they do it great and successfully. And, you know, they don't need what we have apparently. 
then how you can explain it to them, right? So the goal here is to change paradigms. I figured if the US government is saying that aliens are real, then I can show these patterns. So 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 100. So Gan talks about that. Gan talks about time cycles. I have a, I have a video on that. Why specifically 30? Gan explains why 30. It's from the Bible. S&P still hanging around this angle here. Not much. <laughs> Trevor All right, so crude holding this angle here. Right. And so you got to think like the retail, right? Like if you're looking at this, like a bear chart, right? No levels, nothing. And you're someone who trades pound Aussie and you probably got wrecked on this pullback, trying to long it up on the monthly. Let me just get a chart, fresh chart. Gan never claimed to ever, ever, ever have a hundred percent win rate. So I don't know, you know, where people get off thinking that you know it should be a hundred percent. Gan never even claimed it. I feel like people don't even learn about the man. I feel like people see his name in a tool and like read a blog and they think they know who Gan is. Anybody, um, you know, anybody that you're looking at calling, if you can't understand why someone is doing something like, like this, like you can actually see the, the future, then, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust unless you've seen it for a while, because a lot of people claim to have some sort of method uh, and it doesn't stand the test of time. Only natural law stand the test of time. So again, if we're looking here, let's say we look at the daily, right? Ooh, that's a big, you know, we've had a big run. Someone might be scared to long here, especially we have all this bearish pressure. Look at the weekly, right? I'm sure you had people longing at the beginning of the week, you know, trying to get that piece up here because we had a, a nice breakup or the monthly. You know, they just, the way the, the way we're taught baby pips or, you know, baby pips.com or any other retail school, which is good information, right? I guess, you know, if you're just starting out, want to understand what not to do. So one might one might be scared, right? In order to take a long here, you have all this these huge candles. It's just something that you wouldn't do. You'd say, oh, I'll wait for a base or I'll wait for some momentum. But when you can see, you know, what's supposed to happen, that keeps you that keeps you sane. You know, you don't mind taking that risk because you know how far it's supposed to go. It just it's it's going to get there. So Tran says 100% accuracy is the creator itself. We are 
we are not, but we can understand how he has done and continue to do things in the universe. And the same rules are applied to the markets. The very essence of, of reality is that there's imperfection, right? Night and day. So there has to be. Three. You're bro. You gotta, you gotta quit talking about whoever this guy is and what you see. If you've only seen three or four trades, like, come on, can we move from this? Can you guys talk about something that's over here? <laughs> talking about, you don't like, you know, talking about positions, you have no idea how he does it. So that, you know, that's actually a good thing I was going to, I wanted to talk about is you can see, like, if someone sees what I'm doing, right, sees, sees, sees the patterns. If it seems unattainable for them for whatever reason that they can't learn the patterns right now, what they're going to do is try and create a truth that doesn't exist. That's what I see. I see it all the time. You can't supplement study, right? A lot of, there's a lot of students that confuse their inability to apply something properly and the method itself. And that's why Gan says we always have to blame ourselves. And we also have to be weary of a changing market. Gan says here to make a success in speculation or in business around the age of 20, a man should begin to study a business or the stock market and gain knowledge and experience. If he puts in 10 years of study up to 30, there's 30 again, he will be at the time prepared to make a success in speculation during the next 10 or 20 years. But if he quits studying at, at 30 after he thinks he knows enough to make a, a success, he will be a failure at some time during the next 20 years. So here we have evidence. And here we have evidence that Gan is um, basically telling us that we need to put a lot of time in to understand the market and that the market can change. And we need to understand that if you can't foresee the change conditions, then you're going to think that you have something that's so successful and then end up doubling down and doing what humans do and then losing it all. I had a student, um, basically I got in touch with him. You know, he is, for whatever reason, I don't know, he was trading lunar cycles on their own. He liked what I showed him obviously. Uh, but you know, some people want it to be simple want it to be, oh, if I had know the moon and this date and multiply it by this factor, then I'll be able to get a turning point. And what happened is he ended up um, losing, but over a long period of time, he had so much faith of where the method brought him to that he kept doubling down and doubling down and doubling down until he reached out to me and told me that he had to go back to work a nine to five to pay off debts. And this guy was living in a mansion, you know, he's sending me pictures and stuff like, um, it was living on one of the islands. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to give him away, but, um, it's a, it's a sad story that happens all too often. So one, we want to, we want to put in a lot of time and study, right. And I see it all the time. I prove it to myself through students. I can see one student, you know, two students get the exact same information. Why does one succeed to the level, you know, that I can, and one just like, Hey, you know, I'm doing this thing. I'm studying this, uh, later. Um, 
So he says he must continue to study change conditions in the market and the position of new stocks as well as old stocks and not let change conditions fool him at a different period in the age of a stock. Okay, he must not put new wine in old bottles or in other words, use his old yardstick for measuring stocks in a different cycle or a different period as many traders did in the bull campaign from 1921 to 1929. So it was a buy and hold, right? Roaring 20s, just buy, just hold, just keep doing it. It happened again. Um, you know, in the, uh, in the 90s, my older brother, you know, lost a lot of money investing. We have a huge age gap between us. But he was all this Buffett mentality. All the books he was reading is just buy and hold, buy and hold. Find a good company, right? Find a good company that you like, that ha pays dividends, that has growth potential and just buy and hold. But, you know, it, it'll somehow you'll, you'll get out of the, if you don't have a plan, right? And so what may have worked in a certain period, Gan is saying, may not work again. And so you have to find something that holds true throughout history, okay? And that's why Gan is going back to the Bible because Gan holds the premise that all of history is contained within the Bible, all the laws, all the na all natural laws. So every man must get his stock market education and we must remember that no, that one never graduates from the Wall Street school. You must take postgraduate courses every year to keep up with the times, meaning you have to keep, you know, looking like looking at, at your trades, studying your trades, understanding, OK, maybe something that worked a certain uh, amount of times maybe doesn't work as well anymore. So you have to understand these things. And if that's the case, then what is it? What is it based on? What is it based on? I can tell you that these patterns, these patterns have, you know, existed from the beginning of this market that's being traded. If you have data, right, all the way back to when the beginning of these markets, I can show you that these instances are happening over and over and over again. The problem is, is the time, solving the time, because like I said before, you can act, you can just put overlays, uh, you know, it's not a new concept, but some, for some reason, right when it's supposed to turn, it never does. Right. So why is that? That's what I teach. Long-term investing is not easy. Very, very less people have so much patience. No, exactly. Right. Because people don't understand that they're going to want to make a purchase or they're going to need, um, you know, they're going to need the money at some point and it will just be there accessible for them. And instead of it compounding, right, they end up taking and butchering the position anyway. And then waking up 10 years later, I mean, like, oh, I was in at this price if I just held. Right. So that's another thing. You want to learn how to do it consistently over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, adapt. You got it. So Tran says in history, those who adapt are the only ones that survive. Exactly. Survival of the fittest. You got to adapt to situations. That's what God's telling us here to do in the market. So, you know, whatever it is, you can never be let yourself be, you know, never go to sleep thinking that's it. I got it. Because I'm sure a lot of you can, sh you know, share this thought with me that you know, as soon as you go to bed, you're like, oh, I got it. That's it. That's when all the, all the, all the hard work before that, and all of a sudden everything starts falling apart and you don't know why. Okay. So someone says, can you give a view on BTC with your swing pivots numbering? Uh, is it a law of vibration or COR cycles that you show in those swings? So, oh, wow, I've heard these to death. LOV, COR. Um, if you don't know, maybe it's neither. Maybe your understanding of those cycles is also wrong. Right. So biggest takeaway is, you know, if you're just joining the stream, I've got, uh, I think, 10 streams now. 
I think today, 10 or nine, you know, go, go see how the patterns unfold. Go see how, how st- statistically significant the movements are and how it's not a hundred percent, but it's 90% just like gun. I think gun's record was like 93 or 94% in one campaign. Why did he trade campaigns, right? It's not always the right time to trade. A lot of times waiting. But if you notice here, we have setups every day, big setups. So we got that news in six minutes. But yeah, honestly, like I don't claim, you know, I'm not claiming here that I have the only way that the market can be traded, obviously, but it's I it's what I think I know I can prove is the closest thing, you know, that Gan was using to trade. I can prove it. And I do prove it. So always make sure that you have enough sample time, like put it this way. If if I'm applying Gan's words, and it's crazy how simple it is, you know, it's it, I'll show students the I'll show students how to dissect Gan, and then come back to them two, a month later, two months later. Did you read all his books? No. Why not? Maybe you can figure something out. I can. Who knows? Right. So don't don't be lazy. A lot of people system hop because they're lazy. They're looking, no, it has to be easier. Why does it have to be easier? Where, where else in life is something that easy to attain? What do you guys think is the lotto? Uh, so, uh, some, some, so, uh, someone, uh, emailed, someone emailed me and said, hey, I'm thinking about trading as a side hustle. Side hustle. Even if you put 10 years of your life into it, I guarantee you 99% you won't be able to do. That's just the, that's just the fact. Right, and you can see you can see um, the turnover in students. You know, it's 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 a shame where you have all this knowledge, and like I I'm inviting students maybe that haven't reached out to me yet. I know there's a lot of them. I don't know why. You know, like send me your charts, send me your questions. Either you're not trading or you're using something else. Right. But make sure that that's going to stand the test of time. Make sure that you can rely on it. And even if you can rely on it, always know that the market can change its conditions, just like Gan was saying. And now you see what a mental, you know, the mental fortitude that you need to come here and trade every day and do it successfully. Trading is uh, is not a game. You know, the rewards, the potential rewards, you guys have to understand, it's the most ruthless people's money here in the market. It's like the top of the top. Like, whose money you think is in this market? You have to remember who you're up against every day. It's not bars on a screen. There's humans behind. There's There's plans. There's governments. There's... There's things you don't even know about that I don't know about that are behind the screen. But you know what the beauty is? Gan teaches us how to see it on the chart. Gan says that we can see the changes. We can see the pool of men because of the pool of men, what they're doing. We can see it already because they can't hide their intentions that well. It's just cause and effect. So we got two minutes here. Remember, we can see a spike down and then a move up um, or a possible, you know, blow past this level. We'll have to see. Remember, Euro-Yen, we're looking at two. 
let's see how these levels are respected. We tapped up here, rejected this zone. Let's see how these levels are respected. So someone asked if I master divergence, is it enough to earn consistently? So that method is actually really close to the heart because um, that's the first one that I saw <clears throat> consistent results and profits with. Um, can everybody, you know, here, I'll, I'll show you, you know, we went through this before. The Gan says, I can give you the best rules in the world. We'll go through it after the news and, and you can mess up on account of your human weakness. Don't don't learn to trade out of desperation. That I can tell you. Don't do it. Here we go. Break the low and then go up. Or are we going to go up? Euro yen. There we go. We broke the low. This is why we want to wait for the news. And can we tap 96.55? Bang, tap that. Gonna to want to wait for it to settle here and then see what happens. Okay, let's see if we can hold this area. <laughs> Remember that box we got drawn out? Let's see if we get there, we hold this 9655 level. 
Euro yen heading lower. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Gotta be patient. Let's see what happens. Again, guys, no trading advice here. Please do not invest anything based on what I'm telling you. It's all for educational purposes. At 96.55 level, holding up nice. Again, uh, if you want to know how to plot these levels, uh, so this is exactly the levels that I teach uh, through Godzilla, through the square of nine. Uh, you can head over to my website and uh, sign up there. So very nice. We held this level. Closed right above that. Let's see if it can hold. What was that on the five minute? Okay. Let's see if we can get a 15 minute close above that level. Crude breaking through that level. Pound Aussie breaking below. Oh, well, these are just screaming to go up. Let's see how dollar yen pattern works. Oh, you see that? Boom, all the dollar pairs. Broken down. Do I know about Michael Jenkins? <laughs> yes, I know about Michael Jenkins. I had many students from his private seminars come learn from me uh, afterwards and share interesting information. I don't like to name names, but if you're going to name names, um, I'm sure you've probably learned the secret angle technique there. Not sure how that relates to Gans 45 degree angles. or any of the rules he teaches to trade them with. Interesting to see how this hour is going to close. But yeah, if you guys go, there's a, you know, the same website everybody goes to. It's the same authors there all the time. If you think you're, you think you're a new one going to that website, that website, you know, been around for 20 years at least. Um, and, you know, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded those books and thought they found gold and said, oh, I just need to read this. Why? Go read the guy's books. Why so lazy? 
Lambert, Lambert Gun Publishing. Right, very interesting question. Why didn't why didn't Gan's sons continue his work? We're so quick to believe in the man. Test the man first before you believe in him. You know, you see, you see, it, it's the same thing for everybody. What's what's what what triggers you is is the edge. You're like, oh, if I can just go big like the planets, if I can go outside the box, seemingly, right? You think you're going outside the box, then you'll be able to have an edge over everybody else. But that's not what Gan, <laughs> that's not what Gan teaches. And so, you know, we have these paradigms that we think Gan should teach and what he should be. And we have these, it's like here, I have a comment. What's the name of the system? It's pieced together through many books. And I gave it a name because that's what I heard Gan, uh, that's what I read Gan uh, write about it. The master forecast method. Someone says, I think you should give some stuff for free to rules-based systems so small trader can earn and make money. Honestly, if you go read Gan's book, okay, more than once, anyone, any one of them, start with Truth of the Stock Tape, Wall Street Stock Selector, okay, How to Make Profits and Commodities, go read and try and read between the lines and see what he's trying to tell you. And then go watch my uh, scale, uh, my video on the lunar scale on geometric angles. Start plotting those angles and tell me that I don't give something for free that you guys can learn. It's just, you're lazy. You don't want to put the work in. I don't know who you are, but it's the same thing all the time. It's a pattern just like these charts. You know, there's many types of students and I've been teaching for a while and I've seen all types, all ages, all types, all parts of the world. It's pretty much comes down to the same factors. Right, so we're pulling away here. It'll be interesting, interesting to see how this day turns out. I'm obviously not going to be able to stream for the rest of the day. But I was hoping we'd see some action here, possibly. Let's wait till the end of the to the close. Pushing, pushing margin calls, right? You got people short from all, uh, from long, from all the way up here, holding all day, praying, praying, and now probably reversing short because they didn't catch anything today. Don't get sucked into things. Don't feel pressure. Don't trade from pressure. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so again, like we're talking about, um, you know, authorities, let's say on Gantt, right? So... <clears throat> There's this website. Um, I'm sure if you just put in Gan books, like it's the first thing that comes up on Google. And you have all the authors there. Now, you, you don't have to take anybody's word for it, right? You just have to study all the works and then test it for yourself. That's it. That's the beauty, right? Is that the market's going to give you the, the market's going to give you the truth. In term in in uh, in results. So someone asks, knowing many different techniques, how do you know which ones to use on a daily basis? Um, they all complement each other. To be honest.
So someone says, why don't you give some technique for free? I already explained to you. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you're listening to see how, it, how good it works. And then people will be more happy to join you. Well, that's what these live streams are. Can't deny it. You can go back uh, two weeks and just watch them. Watch how the patterns unfold. And if you don't understand what I'm showing you, you probably wouldn't understand the course anyway. So. There we go. We got to that box. Crushing dreams. Crushing dreams. Hero Yen. So it looks like we can still be making five here. Yeah, people are losing it halfway through the week. Comments today are hilarious. I love how people get mad. Show something for free. I don't have to do anything, bro. I can stay at home and just chill. I can chill by the pool. Smoke a fatty. Enjoy. I don't have to be here, but I want to. I want to show you guys, you know, that there's different ways to look at the world. Forget the market. I just when I'm growing up, like whenever I knew something cool, like I the first thing I do is look around me and tell someone. That's just who I am. It's like, oh, what did you hear? And it's not even about gossip, just like just figuring something out, whether it was like a video game. Let's see what's going on here. Getting some life. Getting some life. If you guys are still hanging in, I thank you. Definitely more fun to pass this hour with you guys. Do you use repetition of time cycles to find fractals or repeating patterns like the ones you are displaying frequently? Those are the same thing. Time cycles are fractals. Fractals are time cycles. You can only have a fractal in space through time. Does that mean that pound Aussie has failed? Uh, nope. Uh, if you remember before uh, the news, I drew out this box. And I said, we can pull down to that box. Now, if we pass this box and we start heading lower, then yeah, I'm not even looking at this anymore. Yeah, Trevor, Trevor's giving you some good advice. The problem is with my generation is we were taught that if you just get good grades for a certain amount of years, then you just get a good job and then life is good. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but that's not the case. Maybe that was the case for our parents' generation, but that's not the case for us and for anybody after me. That's just the truth. <laughs> And can we make it 96.34? History doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. You know, history repeats itself. Sorry, Mark Twain. But I go by the Bible in Gan. Gan says history repeats. And with charts and rules, we can determine how and when it is going to repeat.
buddy, don't buy a course. I'm not selling you. I'm not here selling you. Jesus. Every course seller says, say, bro, if you, if, if, if you don't want to be here, don't be here. I'm not selling you <laughs> everything. Okay, man. Enjoy the live stream. Are you in a rush to make money? That's not my problem. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry if your situation is putting you in a, where you're in a rush, right? I was, you know, I, I can, that's palpable to me, right? I went through things too. Everybody has, um, you know, I share with, I, I'll share with you guys, you know, I lived in my car for two years while I studied God. Did I ask anybody for anything for free? Nope. Shut my mouth, sat there and said, if I can't do it on my own. And then you know what? God brought me help. But I never asked for handouts. I'm just here showing you um, a pers another perspective. You know, there's no ads here. I'm not trying to sell you anything. You want to learn more? Go ahead. You don't. Everything okay. People know I don't I don't spam your email. There's people that requesting information from two months ago. I haven't sent them any information. You know, I feel bad. I just don't get around to it. This is this is this is a rule of the universe. You have to give back. It's like a river downstream, okay? Where the river stops, it all pile the shit piles up. Okay, but the but but the flowers and all the life that's 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 in midstream while the river flows. Okay, everybody, all, all the life there is getting to getting to enjoy from the river. But where the river stops, where that flow stops, that's where there's there's a, a you know there's a blockage. And I've witnessed that happen to people in my life, people that should otherwise be successful, and that you know that's the only thing I could put my fingers on. I was like, wow, well, you know what? They never gave anybody a time of day. They never tried to help anybody, even their own parents. So I'm giving back, right? That's what I'm trying to do. But you have to understand that like what I teach is priceless in my opinion. And what you're paying for is my time, right? This time is free. Ask what you want. We can shoot the shit. We can chill. We can look at charts. But if you want to take learning seriously, you know, where I'm engaged in learning with you and going through charts and, and explaining things to you that you're working on, then that's a whole nother story. That's a student already, right? So I'm not, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. Trust me, don't need your money. Okay, buddy, everything okay. God takes care of me, he'll take care of you too. You don't even need trading. That's the thing. If you guys understood, if you can't get $100 together, I don't care where you are. If you have an internet connection and a computer to log on to this live stream and you can't get together $100, then work on getting $100 together. Work on the mental requirements, the physical requirement from you to, 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 to attain a hundred dollars. I'm not telling you spend it on, on the courts, but if, but if you're, you know, if you're saying, oh, I should, I should have something free so that I can learn to make money. Well, that's just not how things work, but I do get for free too. You know, all you got to do is dig, dig in the YouTube channel. There's lots of golden nuggets. I even leave hints. I leave hints for those who are keen of, to observe, just like Gandhi. What do I think about Nikola Tesla and Free energy, no idea. I'm looking at Pound Aussie right now. And we just tapped that 96.34 level. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Your yen still holding up here. So someone says, thanks for providing some food for thoughts. Honestly, this is just my head all day. I just have a microphone right now. So you guys are just hearing my thoughts. And if you like hearing them, you're more than welcome back. It's live stream free every day for the time being. Boom, 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 boom. They are just pushing, pushing, pushing. Euro yen still good. I have a feeling they're gonna swing back up together. So Trevor says, I have 30 years trading experience. I always learn new things. Sean has helped me decode GAN in faster time than, it, than I tried on my own. Isn't that what we pay universities for? Exactly. Thank you, Trevor. Appreciate it. And like how many people paid $100,000 for a university education and their previous employer checked their degree? <laughs> Honestly, think about it. Anybody check your degree when you applied? How many things on the job did you have to learn on the job? How many things could you refer back to in your studies in university all that time? Be like, oh, that really helped. Okay, I'm like in Euro Yen, getting back above this 15703 level. If we can get above that, that might expose right over here. Red pound Aussie just tanking. We could see one huge bar here. That'd be funny though. Let's see how they play this. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, someone asked your stop losses on a closing basis. Which time frame? Ah, man, trade management. But you don't even know the method. Unless you do, if you're a student, let me know. I'm sure, I would have known. <laughs> then you're again rejecting that level. How many pips are we from this drop today? Two hundred and twenty one pips. I wonder if we go more. Probably not. <laughs> there was some life. Well, I'm not even going to answer that. <sighs> make, make me do the work. I'm going to have to prove to you something I use every day. If you don't understand, you don't understand. Or if you don't believe, you don't believe. It's fine. I'm, um, I'm calling out to, you know, a lot of students of Gan that have studied his words and understand what I'm showing them finally makes sense, you know, in terms of trying everything else. Uh, but if you're new to the market and you're new to Gan, probably not going to understand what I'm showing you. 
Ooh, 962 level. It's pulling. I'm thinking we come back up here if we can somehow halt. Oh, Euro Yen popped above. Finally getting some life in something. Uh, thoughts on gold. You know what? I didn't take a look at gold for a while. Ooh, there we go. Very nice. Well, we're rushing here at this moment. So, um, yeah, there's nothing to see here on gold. So if gold starts breaking below levels here, we are going to head back down. Someone says, I screenshotted your dates and used some clever time tools to see how you're finding repeating fractals. Good luck, buddy. Please send me the patterns. You wouldn't be the first one. Some clever time tools. Wow, some people are so funny. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'd love to see a pattern that you can solve. That would be nice. Ebo. Pound Aussie. So if we can break back above the square of nine level, um, I believe the first place we'd head to is back to this level. And if we can get past here, then we're gonna head back all the way up here. And gold is gonna come down to here. Nineteen hundred area. <laughs> you know, honestly, guys, like if if you can uh, if you can figure this out by watching the live streams on your own, that's awesome. You know, I don't have to teach you and you and you got some knowledge. 
No, I don't mean to hoard this or anything. It just takes time to teach someone how to trade these sequences because they're counterintuitive. We think in terms of time uh, and space, right? We think in terms of three dimensions. Uh, the market's two dimensions and we live in three dimensions, but you're going to have to think in four dimensions. Now, as a child, right, as a baby, the thing, what you download here is the movement of space through time, right? It's like before you can even move your limbs like that, you judge movement, right? As a baby, watching my, watching my son grow up this past year, you know, he's, uh, almost a year old, it's taught me probably more about nature than, you know, any university could. Um, understanding how, you know, it has to acclimate. Basically, you see something that's outside space and time acclimating to space and time. And so we're programmed for the way we look at momentum, okay, because... Um, fight or flight, right? We have to be able to judge speeds within the space, within a certain amount of space to understand if we need to run away or what we need to do in order to survive, right? So, but that works against us in the market because, and that's why people, you know, they'll, they'll enter and the market will turn right away, right? Right where they enter, you know, we're waiting, 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 finally enter, boom, right there turns around. Like, why is that? I'm sure you've noticed that. How's Euro Yen holding up? Okay, so Euro Yen, nice closed above, held, held that zone. Pound Aussie coming up now. You know, here's a free tip, guys. Watch the daily opens. You'll be surprised how strong of a support resistance level the daily open is. And I'm sure you're going to be able to find patterns that happen all the time around the daily open. Someone ask any specific reason you believe that area will be met if we start breaking lower patterns, formations, formations around specific levels. Gan talks about forms. Go read what Gan writes about forms. Okay, so crude actually closed above that angle we saw, and then we had a nice push up, but we've come pretty much down to that open of that candle that we held that level pound aussie seeing some resistance on the square nine level let's see how it how it turns out I guarantee you there's many longs from here, this 9734 area, and they just got margin called. And now we're going to head back up to that level and people are going to be like, oh, I was long there. I'd be breaking even now. All right, so let's just run through everything again. Aussie Yen, going to make its way down, I believe, to 16. We're still holding this angle here on the S&P. Dollar Yen, oh, we broke down, but we had a very nice move from 5 to 6. I'm going to recalculate that uh, pattern, that market. Dollar Yen, okay, here we go. That was a square of nine levels. Gold heading up. Okay, so Euro Yen, we're still expecting a move back up to six. Uh, pound Aussie looking for a six and still back to seven. Now we're getting some life here. I believe that six possibly uh, has been formed.
These are the square of nine levels. Feel free to copy them uh, out if you're following the, you know, following the trade, just watching it. I wanted to run a little longer today because um, I thought, you know, we had so much news coming in. I thought New York would be a little more interesting. Guess not. I guess we'll find out in the next few hours, but uh, that's going to be it for me today. Would you, so Tebow says, would you be willing to share your win rate? Tebow, send me an email. Send me an email, buddy. You want to talk? Send me an email. You can find my email on any of the videos or in the description. Trevor, here is some free advice for all. This will help a lot. Find one market that resonates with you. Yes, Gan talks about that as well. Very good advice. There's markets that, you're going to resonate well with. It's just a fact. And Gan, Gan actually says, I could tell you the reason, but you may not believe me. Though that Those are his words. So definitely uh, try and find a market uh, that you resonate with. And again, that can only come through trial and error. And if you think you can demo that, probably won't be able to because you're going to need the real emotions to understand what you vibrate with. And this has to do with many things. It could do with your time zone, times you're available throughout the day, um, the volume. Some people like quiet volume. So like in the Asian session, doesn't move much, but, you know, it moves quietly. Um, New York's a little wild, uh, you know, so it depends on you. But great advice. So I hope you guys enjoyed that again. Last uh, last word. So I'm looking at Euro Yen to pop up to these levels and Pound Aussie to continue its move up. Um, and I'll be back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. If you have any questions or anything, you want to, you know, spark up a conversation, I'm always willing. Feel free to send me an email. You don't need to be a student to talk to me. Um, I'll gladly uh, have a conversation with you and share ideas. That's not a problem. Um, so take care and I'll see you in the next one.